house we are in the Cotswolds. I am at a place called Welford Pools, uh, which is about it's like a 15 minute drive from my home. And I'm gonna spend the day here doing some wildlife and nature photography. Got the uh, D7500 with the new Sigma 100 to 400 f5 6.3 uh, dgos hsm contemporary lens on um, i'll tell you the reasons why i bought that lens over the 150 to 600 also as you may have noticed this lens doesn't actually come with a lens collar you have to buy them and this is a third party one from iShoot, and it fits rather nice so what we're going to do we're just going to go for a little wander and see what there is just stopped at the bird hide back there talked to a lovely chap who's the Fairford photographer on Facebook. So if you want to see all photos regarding bird wildlife around the Cotswold area, that's the chap to go and see. And uh, I'm going to start wandering and exploring. And I'll bring you back later. myself on the edge of this bank of trees here because you might be able to hear them. I've got some reed buntings in there. Listen. See that? De -de -de -de. There, that's a reed bunting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my camera on this tripod. So, what settings do I use when I'm doing wildlife photography? Well, it's my philosophy to keep it keep it simple, and uh, so it's not to take. So I don't have to keep um, you know changing settings and worrying all about that. What I tend to do is I keep it in aperture priority. Um, I set my ISO settings uh, minimum. Uh, 100 ISO 100 and maximum uh, 6400 ISO in aperture priority with the ISO speed setting. I set my shutter speed to a minimum of uh, 1 400 of a second, which is a 400 mm zoom, so I want to keep the same shutter speed to focal length. And the reason why I use aperture priority is because your camera will automatically choose, depending on the aperture you've chosen, the uh, lowest ISO and the highest shutter speed so it, it will be at least uh, 400 of a second so we just switch this on I'll keep it in continuous high so we just switch, this, switch the camera on now and I'll look for the viewfinder I'm on f6.3 so this is obviously an f5 6.3 so my aperture will remain f6.3 whether I'm on 100 or 400 um, so I'll keep it on that so that's given me ISO 100, 400 of a second, 
f6.3 if i was to raise that to f11 all it would do it would raise the iso but keeping the four hundredths of a second so i've got iso 280 and four hundredths of a second at f10 so it's auto iso you see keep the iso on auto so that will work out your iso and your shutter speed at one four hundredths of a second in your iso speed tip so okay and then if i go up to f20 it's given me in ISO 1000 at F20, still remaining 400 of a second. You see, so it's a good way. It's a good way to shoot uh, wildlife. Um, that's the way. That's the way I've done it. That's the way I've always done it. 400 of a, 400 of a second is a good is a good average for me. You know, I, I, I tend to get good results with that. And, you know, and I can increase it if I want to. You know, there's no 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 beams just to increase your your uh, shutter speed. But anyway. That's my settings when I'm uh, yeah doing, doing wildlife or nature photography. Comfy. So, yes, I am at Welford Pools. So I keep saying, but um, that why why have I uh, chosen the lens? This lens in particular, the Sigma 100 400 f5 to 6.3 DGOS HSM contemporary over the uh, Sigma 150 to 600 f5 to 6.3. Well, to be honest, the 150 to 600 is uh, not my style of photography because I like to walk around and uh, see what I see and take pictures of it. Um, at the moment, while I've been here, there's been another uh, great crested group down there and, um, and a heron fly over as well, which I didn't actually get. But it's the sort of photography that I like. I mean, this lens here is is uh, 1.1 1,100 grams or 1.1 kilos. Um, my other lens that I got, the Sigma 120 to 400. Now that is uh, 1.765, I think it is. So that's a, that's a that's a weight saving, you know, with sort of like 600 grams on this lens, um, which sort of like suits my style of photography, you know, down to the ground. It's you know, it sits well on the D7500. You know, it's it's uh, I consider it lightweight compared to my 120 to um, 400 that I had on this. What much longer? And you know, it, it, walking around with the 150 to 600 just is too big. You know, I don't need 600 mil. You know, this this equivalent uh, full frame gives me up to what 620, 630 millimeters on a full frame. That's plenty. That's plenty for me. 100 to 600 is a good range. Plus, it fits in with my other lenses because I've got the Tamron 20, uh, 10 to 24, um, and I've got the uh, Nikon 24 to 120 f4 because Nikon in there with wisdom don't make a 24 to 70 f4 um, so I've got 24 to 70 24 to 120 f4 and this sits just above it the 100 to 400 and they, and they all sit in my camera bag you know and it's it's a, it's a good weight to carry around um, so yeah that's, that's why I chose this 100 to 400 um, the, the reason you know it, it, it doesn't come with the lens collar because they because Sigma say it's it's so lightweight that it sits when you put that on your tripod you know it sits quite well and it's well balanced and it is well balanced don't get me wrong but because I got used to holding my 120 to 400 in such a way, which is like this. So when I'm going around, you know, I'm holding, like, holding, it, holding the lens collar like that. And if I see something, I can just bring it up to there and whack, 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 you know, and take, you know, and instantly it's there ready to take pictures, you know, and I can carry it around like that as well. Um, it's quite easy to fit. You just line it up, line this arrow up with your focusing arrow there. And it, it uh, it's, it, you turn it around and, you, you screw it on there, you know, quite nice and tight. And you can see it fits around, fits around all the buttons here, because what you got, you got uh, four sets of buttons. So you got autofocus, you got uh, autofocus with manual override and manual focus. But I mean, you can manual override um, on autofocus anyway. And then you got your um, your your focusing system on full or six meters to infinity or 1.6 to six meters. So if you're in a confined space, you, you know you choose you choose whatever. Your image stabilizations, um, one and two. One is sort of like your vertical and that way. 
and uh, number two is for more action. And then you've got customizable buttons down there, which I don't tend to mess about with. Um, I can customize it if I put it, put it on the dock and then fiddle about a bit, which is quite nice. I've had no problems with the image stabilization on this right out the box, and no problems with the focusing on this right out the box. It, it literally does, you know, point it where, where I focus it on because I use back button focusing on, on the uh, Dynamic 9, and wherever I put that center point of focus, this locks onto it. And then once it's locked on, I take my finger off, and that I know then it's locked onto that area, and I can snap away to my heart's content. So, yeah, that's why I chose this. And it's you know it's lightweight it's it's good it, it suits my style of photography you know not the one, 150 to 600 it's only about 150 to 600 is about another 130 pounds more expensive than this but you know it doesn't suit my style of photography it's just too big it's too long you know and i don't need that reach to be honest um you know, just see the common turn just take off over there so anyway i'm gonna um have a little drink on this bench and take in the scenery it's rather nice here i'll turn you around give you a look Wow, what a lovely viewing area I've just come across. Nice uh, brand new bench. And what can I see from here? Well, there's a pair of nesting swans uh, just over there. There's the adult male uh, on the on the island there. The female is in the water with the cygnets behind her. She's got one, two, three. Three cygnets there. There were cormorants here just a moment ago, but as soon as they saw me, they flew off. They're very flighty birds. Uh, what are they? I can't tell the difference between, because they're a bit far away, they might be black-headed gulls or they might be uh, common terns. No, not staying still enough for me to find out. But yeah, excellent viewing area. I think this is where I should have my lunch. Do you see it? Out there on that boy. The black headed gull. And in the background we've got some geese. I want to take a picture and some uh, video on my Nikon. He's done it quite quietly to himself, hasn't he? There's loads of geese in the background. Anyway, continue my walk after I've taken this picture. So we're in the uh, the hut now, and on there you see the birds. Got the crotchards, cormorants, grey herons, common terns, hobby hawk, kingfishers, long-tailed tits, damselfly, four-spotted chaser, obviously coots galore, tufted ducks, stoked rabbits, teals. Bitterns, walk rails, everything. It can be viewed in this bird hide.
So I'm going to end this video here in the bird hide. We'll stay here for about another 20 minutes and I should go home. I want to say thank you for watching. It's been nice walking around here. I've got my eyes set on a great crested creep down there at the moment. It's down there. So, yeah, it's gone underwater. Yeah, have been following her for a while. Just waiting for her to get a bit closer. But yeah, it's been good running around here. It's um, really, really good. As I say, really pleased with the um, Sigma 100 and 400 F5 6.3. Contemporary, really, really good. Really, really suits the uh, the Nikon D7500 well. So it's very, you know, manageable size. I mean, you take the whole weight of this is 1.7 or 1,700 grams. When that 1,700 grams, people might say, well, that's a lot, but that was the weight of my 120 to 400, 1,700 grams. So I've got complete system for the weight of my old lens. You know, and it's a lot lighter with the. Um, I prefer it with the. Uh, tripod collar that I bought separately it's an eye shoot tripod collar about 35 quid but yeah I say thank you for watching and I'll see you again right where did she go